Hello there, Brother Manuru here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts and today a scenario by Al Coffin and this is being recorded live on Twitch. Uh, is this Slayer Gulf all over again? Uh, yes, pretty much. 50 destroyers against 5 battleships, 4 heavy cruisers, 5 light cruisers and 10 destroyers. Um, too many ships. <laughs> yes, let us continue. Uh, if you are planning on sending in a scenario, the maximum number of... Um, uh, uh, ships the game can handle at the moment is nine, well, it's a hundred, so you can do one versus ninety-nine, or fifty ships a site. Um, okay. Bom, 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 bom. Torpedo beats till the sun sets. Yes, absolutely. Uh, oh, I don't need a super firing barbette on the front because I've already kind of already got one. Um, oh, I'm gonna go five. Now they have destroyers as well, don't they? I'm gonna go, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go five inch. You know, one, two, three, like that, and then. Oh, those fit three. Do they fit fours? No. Uh, I'm actually going to go with two inch guns, I think, here because they just look better. Look at that. Um, and then on the back, just one. Quintuple launcher. As restrained as I can be. Right. Crip 4. Diesels. Oil. Uh, let's go for... Super Heavy High TNT. Hydro Auto Motors. I want big torpedoes fast because that's just funny. Um, if I get to reload these things, I will be amazed. I'm no, I'm way overweight. I'll fix that in a minute. Um, yeah, reduced. No way I'm going to get a lot of shots off. Oh, that will do. Uh, it told me I need to have medium range, right? That's fine. With 30, 30 knots would be fine. Tell you what. Uh, we'll go single bottom hull. If I get hit by a torpedo, I'm dead. Um, I kind of want to be able to turn, though. Uh, tell you what, anti flooding is not going to be as important. What is going to be important is having the armor to keep those pesky little destroyers off my back. Oh, almost perfect. <laughs> Not quite a max armor destroyer. How long can I go with speed? Uh, you can go up to like something stupid like 60 knots, which is insane. Um, <laughs> so, uh, possibly not how the US would design a destroyer, but. Uh, 3,000 tons, I think that's a pretty nasty little warship. Many guns, not that fast, but who cares? Um, so, plan is fight our way through the destroyers, torpedo, everything else. Uh, you're not, your Yarnal, the Yarnal. Um, I could, in theory, dump 250 torpedoes at the same time, but uh, somehow I don't think that will, that will. That, that that will work, but we'll try. Um, but of course, this ship isn't going to be the Zerg class. There we go.
Oh god, my poor computer. Uh, if you're wondering how my computer is actually holding up, um, it's using about half the CPU power doing this. <laughs> uh, yeah, really, it's it's that a, a first name or a second name? Yarnall. I've never heard it before in my life. Interesting. And pause. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And Ultimate Admiral's um, oh, uh, wonderful, um, wonderful uh, division system comes into play now. Um, so I have no idea where any of these ships are, what they're doing. So you, Russell. Uh, did, just, just, this, this group, just stop existing. Will you allow me to stop existing? Will you, will you stop existing or will you not? I don't know. Go that way. You lot, go that way. You lot, go that way. Oh, Jesus Christ, right. Everybody, over there. Don't care what you think you're doing. Go over there. Literally everybody, I would break you all up into individual ships if I could, but I cannot. Go over there. 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 Uh, play. <laughs> Last name. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, I mean, th I, 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 I was talking, thinking about it this morning, actually. Ooh, slow down. Um, I wish the game had, right before you, between the build screen and this screen, you had a little one where you could, um, like, organize your ships. So, like, put them into divisions, which ship was first in the division, which ship was second, um, all that kind of thing. Um, and, uh, you, you know, you could arrange them and your orientation compared to where you think the enemy is going to be. Uh, stuff stuff like that. I think that would be really, really good. Because at the moment, the best way to handle any a fleet of any size is to get rid of all the divisions and manually micromanage all the ships. Um, but... In a, a battle this large, I don't, I don't think it's even letting me because um, there's just so many. Right, times five. Yep, computer's not melting. We're fine. There's a lot of collisions going on. It's fine. Because what I would love to do is just to put them all into one enormous division and put them on a breast, which would be absolutely... In fact, let's try that. They're just going to mill around doing stupid things anyway. At least let me keep an eye on how many I've got left of the damn things. Form up. Um, abreast. And go. <laughs> okay, now watch the AI completely flip out. <laughs> But yeah, I, I wish they would add a, just a little screen. Um, maybe it's something you could do in the campaign only as like standing orders for your fleets or something. Um, I don't know, but it, it would be really nice not to have uh, have the fleets kind of just drop in at random. Um. <laughs> hey, if the game's going to be annoying about it, the game's going to be annoying about it. At least uh, try and get it to work. They're all like, where, where are we supposed to be going? Who's the lead ship? Who's the lead ship? It's the uh, Hulman here, who's uh, bumping into the Zerg. It's just chaos. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Uh, I think the Japanese would just probably think, what on earth are the Americans doing? It's just a big blob of um, very confused destroyers at the moment. 
<laughs> oh, right clicking on it was funny. Uh, can I un undo that? No, no, I've broken the AU. I've broken. No, ah, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Breaking the UI. At least with the lead. Oh no, the lead chip is now coming out the front. Okay, good, good. So many collisions. <laughs> uh, well, fortunately, colliding with your own ships doesn't do any damage. Um, we do have one destroyer out, though, which is fun. Smoke! Yes! Look at the massive smoke. <laughs> oh my word. It won't have enough shells to kill everyone. Yeah, maybe. Like a Hoy or a Stellaris fleet. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Although at the moment it's just like one or two escaping the blob um, and making attack runs, which is eh. Now, did someone order a fog bank? <laughs> I'm impressed the game's handling this at times five, though. I mean, it is a little bit choppy, but oh, that was some good hits on that uh, destroyer over there. <laughs> Look at the amount of shells. Being wasted trying to kill the Ulma. <laughs> oh no, we took a hit. What do we take a hit off? An 8 inch shell. Look at that. I don't care. Okay, taking a lot more hits now. <laughs> uh, goodbye. Fire a 17 inch gun. Okay. One down. Uh, did not fire his torpedoes, obviously. Now comes the Eaton. Dead. <laughs> oh, game. You know what? Aggressive torpedo firing in the division, please. Thank you. Oh, enemy torpedoes. Oh, they're going to cause merry hell. I'll probably take out like half the fleet, but never mind. Oh, also killed by a 17 inch gun. The Mugford is the next uh, victim. Fired. Good, good. <laughs> and dead. That goes over to the Summers. Uh... <laughs> this is very silly. More fog. Oh, of course, they're changing out of the, um, who's the division lead. <laughs> oh, my word. Man, insane amount of firepower they're throwing at us. Right. Let's have a look at their uh, ships. Quad 17-inch guns. Outrageous. Standard bulkheads. Okay. Fair enough. If we had any hope of getting anywhere near them before dying. What's that shell complement like? Pretty good by the look of it. Yeah, standard. Well, Davis is distracting them at least. <laughs> um. Yeah, they probably should spread their fire. But because all my ships are destroyers... The AI basically doesn't have any target priority beyond fire at closest ship. And because the enemy ships are, you know, all over here. Oh! Ammo detonation! 17-inch <laughs> guns. Anti-destroyer weapons. New meta. As we uh, bravely attempt to get some ships into firing range. Look at this. They're still blom blomping into each other. 
basically this ends up being an attack one by one and no I couldn't do anything about it I would love it if I could set this up so it was 50 abreast and you run in and all 50 fire at once that would be amazing but look it just doesn't happen I'll be lucky if they manage to get all it any anyone managed to get if I get a single torpedo hit I will be amazed like genuinely just talk range 10 10 clicks oh we killed a destroyer there we go that one <laughs> how some long range gunnery there like, I just want the Higgins to fire at somebody, but, you know, they're 12 kilometers out, so it's not happening. Uh, who's the new leader? Zerg! Onwards! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I really wish I could get all of them going. Oh, yeah, there's another one dead. Um, at the same time, but genuinely there's there's no there's no real way to do it smoke up oh yeah thank you uh, too late for them <laughs> oh my word who's, who's the lead ship now they killed a fifth of our fleet oh but uh yep bye bye 17 inch guns outrageous though we're not even in range to fire anything like, um, it's just the kind of the nature of it. There's, there's no way to, there's no way to close in on these ships effectively, because you can't you can't get them all to go in at once. And that's more due to the division system than the ships themselves. It will just take take fire and die eventually. Because look, those 17 inch guns, you know, they don't have a good chance to hit less than 1%. But you fire, you know, that number of them, they've got that many of those big ships. They're just going to obliterate you. Of course, if I was playing this the other way around, I would be dead already. Because I would have. They, they would have used stealthy, long range torpedoes that I couldn't even do anything against. Yeah, um, but this, this, this genuinely, like, I, I am trying to get them to attack <coughs> more than one at a time. Um, but like I said, unless I actually physically micro them myself, which is impossible when you have 38 of them, um, it's not happening. Two go down at once. Shoot. Surely you're in range to fire something. Nope. Because you're dead. Like if you look at his uh, damage range. Right? Torps. Yeah. We're not even getting in torp range. Because the uh, enemy AI, which obviously can micromanage all its ships if it wants to, um can just just avoid I should have gone with oxygen torps um but uh scenario did call for uh, firing at close range so hence the fast torpedoes but look at this how is that an abreast formation hmm how and they're still just clap you know slapping into each other yeah I'm doing my I am doing my best the flash fire Um, and I thought something like this might happen. Um, just yeah, this this is going to be uh, impossible. However, what happens if instead of this design we go with oxygen fueled torps? Um, now we're not going to be able to fit a quintuple. But maybe we could go with a quad launcher. Yeah, let's go with a quad launcher instead. Um, 
for even more armor. Get a max armor. No, not quite a max armor destroy. Oh, one point off a max armor destroy. There we go. Uh, so the reason I'm not going for a torpedo, more torpedo ammo. So the game is very generous with the number of torpedoes. So this comes with two shots, basically on reduced. Um, but it's got a reload time of 780 seconds, meaning I'll probably get a range fire once and then that, that, that'll be that. So uh, let's try again. Uh, put torpedoes forward. Um, you can do, but the uh, ship, the ships really hate having forward firing torpedo launchers. Um, for some reason, I don't know what it is. They just, I I never have any luck with them. D destroyers tend to run straight into them, and or they don't they don't work, and it's just all sorts of horribleness. Right, off torpedoes. Everybody form up on whoever and I want you to go slowly and I want you to go mm, which way are you headed that way ensue chaos so the reason I've told the lead ship to slow down is so that the other ships in theory can catch up and form up whether this works or not, I have no idea. <laughs> oh, the en oh, the enemy is actually over there. That's 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 really unfortunate. How far away are they? Sixteen kilometers. Range on torpedoes twenty-two. Um, hey, you know what? If you get a good shot, you can take it. Um, but you're kind of a sitting duck, so um, back to full speed. Like, look, lead ship escapes the, the, the bubble. The rest of them, look at this. Look at this. Just it's just like a big ball of chaos. But that's the best I can do in terms of uh, you know what? Aggressive launch. Fuck it. Smoke. Fire to be is whatever you can find, whenever you can find it. Down goes one to uh, 16 inch guns. I don't know why the Robert Owens isn't, you know, oh crap, it's a. Don't make me do it for each individual ship, you idiots. Okay, good, 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 good. Fire those torps at something. Thank you. Torpedoes going out from some places in the vague direction of the enemy. <laughs> Big ball of chaos describes our world, uh, our world pretty well. Ah, well, thank you. I just want them to fire their torpedoes, to be honest. I don't really care who they fire them at too much. Uh, the battleships would be nice. I think those are these ships back here. Um, so, uh, Where's the, where the lead ship is? There we go. Yeah, 
you know, I might do something at some point. Oh, goodbye, Frank Knox. Enemy is firing torpedoes at us. Lots of torpedoes. There we go. <laughs> By Humphreys. If you just come close to this big ball of nonsense, that'd be nice. Look at this. Look at this absolute shower. Yeah. Yeah, that's my plan, basically. Fire it anything I don't care maybe you'll catch something else by accident or do some talk dodging yeah there you go would you get me huh oh, so many torpedo hits and of course I will get none in return oh no we've got one 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 solitary hit Probably fired like 500 of those things. How many actually? How many have we fired? That doesn't, doesn't tell me. Yeah, all sorts of them have fired, but goodness knows where those torpedoes are going. I hit anything, it will be a miracle. Yeah, AI's just trying to stay at range. The closer I go, the further away they go, kind of thing. Which is, yeah, totally understandable. Of course, with its destroyers out front, can easily spot my torpedoes. Because they'll have sonar and things. Fog bank. There we go. Torpedoes away. Uh, avoid. <laughs> hey, took a hit and not dead. That ain't bad. Way look hits. We got hits on the uh, Katetsu here. Oh, it's a good day. We killed something. Whee! Party in the chat. <laughs> oh, my word. All right, then, Dan. See ya. <laughs> uh, thanks for dropping by. next Abbott yes <laughs> alright Nate thanks thanks for stopping by this is total madness yes total and utter complete bonkers madness most of my ships still just milling around playing baseball or whatever it is what, what, what is this battleship doing over here you Shoot it. Thank you. We do have sonar one, so we probably will spot that. But, uh, okay. Fine. Now, uh, everyone else. Um, we can go for the Tayo. Why not? Tozer spots it. Yeah, Battleship is kind of lost. Uh, down goes the Abbot. Maybe trying to attack the sides of the formation. Oh, we got another one. Where is that? Tango. Oh, yes. Goodbye. Oh, that's not too bad. Uh, 
I don't know what the to Tozer is doing over here. Uh, she's about to get a, uh, a welcome present. One 24 inch torpedo delivered amidships. Which uh, kind of ruined her day. Uh, tell you what, Death Ball. Just, you know, just where is Simpson? Simpson. Yo. And whatever your name is. Oh shit! <laughs> Oops! I just broke the division. Actually, I, that's kind of good. Actually, right. Um. Um. No more division. Micromanage. Micro. Deploy micromanagers. I think it crosses in it in his name. Kind of weird and cool. Go that way. You 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 that way. You that way. You that way. <sighs> so much clicking. Everybody go that way. Everybody. Anyone else? No. I think I just clicked on every single destroyer manually. Hooray. Ooh, Nelson. Uh, Rodman. Zerg. Right, Jesus Christ. Ow. <laughs> yeah, my hand is sore now. Should be some more torpedoes going out towards Tosa. Hopefully sink her. As for the rest, goodness only knows what's going on. Woodworth, uh, no torpedo ammo left. Oh, you got hit by torpedoes burns. Sorry about that. That's fine. You can... Uh, Palmer, you do have torpedoes. Good for you. Avoid. Yeah, enemy fleets just scattered everywhere. Which makes uh, having a death ball a little bit difficult. Should be some torpedoes coming in. Somewhere. Can't see them fly. Oh, there they are. Shooting torpedoes not the fastest in the universe. But I think Toza is fine, actually. Annoyingly enough. Although there is another set. Mm, no. Oh, I killed a couple of destroyers, though. Hey. Who else is nearby? Case. Robin. And Nelson. Can you finish off the uh, toes off for me, please? Thank you. Right, well, that's uh, Destroyer Squadron uh, beaten up. <laughs> Oops. Oh, yeah. Can't pay attention to everything. So things are getting torpedo left and right. Beating up things. Hello there, David. Um, so this is Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, 
And I'm fighting with a lot of destroyers against an enemy who does not want to fight me. Which is irritating. <laughs> they're just running away. Here's the Woodworth. So many things going on. Right, back up times five, please. <laughs> Scatter, pray, run away. Well, I think, like, turn around, put your screens out, and, uh, yeah, do what they did the first time, which was quite effective, and uh, just told them obey, because, um, you know, they, they can kill the destroyers very easily. Um, I would actually try and stay together. I wouldn't spread my fleet out like this. Because um, all that lets me do is hunt down each individual ship with, you know, four or five destroyers. Oh, down goes the... Oh, down goes the Rodman. Did you fire before you sank? You did. Good job. Nelson also fired. Here are the torpedoes from Nelson. Rodman's torpedoes, I'm not sure where they are. But um, the... Uh... Oh, there they are. Toza looks like she's going to take another one. From the Rodman. There's another destroyer explodes. One, and another one from the... Ah, oh, goodbye. destroyers uh, bravely suiciding themselves um, before I can uh, assign them orders. You don't have any torpedoes. Of course you don't. How you shoot it? Thank you. You shoot that one. And you shoot that one. How is this hard? Thank you. I caught that one. Uh, you're going to miss. Finish off those heavy cruisers, would you? Bye-bye. Lovely. Now. Uh -huh. You don't have any ammunition. So good luck. <laughs> Alright then, thanks, Joker. <gasps> almost feel bad for them, almost. Yeah. That's like a destroyer out there. Um yeah, heavy cruiser group absolutely murdered. However, those battleships are about to um, be in for a bit of hurt. Once I get these two to uh, stop kissing. A couple of speculative tor uh, torpedoes going out. Yet yeah, the massive formation's finally incoming, even though it's not a formation, it's just me clicking um, manually on all of these things. So we've got the 
Destroyer out front, and then we've got the Heezen and the Tayo. Branch, meanwhile. Doing all right. Whoa, torpedo hit on something way over there. <laughs> and sinks the question mark chip. <laughs> there goes the Bach. This poor destroyer, though, is just getting like absolute hail of fire coming in at it. I did just fire some torpedoes, which is very rude, I have to say. But fine. We're gonna oh we fired them that way. Uh that's fine. Fired them at the uh, branch, did you? Bit of a mistake. Come on. Let's get yourselves into some firing positions. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, light cruiser, eh? You're going to find your own torpedoes getting in your way there. Oh, branch. Did you just fire your torpedoes? Somewhere. You did. Uh, Turn and Joy dies. Way over there. Again, not paying attention to uh, every single ship that I can uh, fight. Uh, why don't you just talk the Eura? There we go. I mean, they will spot that and avoid, but uh, who cares? Branch acting as a distraction. <laughs> of the uh, enthusiasm with which uh, we are fired. Did we just get a penetrating hit on a battleship with a five inch gun? On the main tower, no less. <laughs> Blinkly blonk. Well, these battleships are nearly as fast as the destroyers. Oh, they're running low on ammunition. <laughs> nope. Got hit by our own. Hit ourselves by a torpedo. Was that one of our own? The light cruiser. Alright, can you turn fire, please? Quite sure why you're not firing, but uh, you can fire at that instead if you want. Just fire the torpedoes. I don't care at who, Thomas. Not at the Davis, though. Oh, Fisk! No! Ow. One on the nose. Ah, you got your two videos away, though. Good job. Whoa, 205 damage. What was that from? Five-inch gun. Oh, it wasn't a light cruiser, it was a destroyer. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, not enough um, shells to kill all of you. Oh, there is a light cruiser coming in, though. Which just got an ammo detonation off a 5-inch gun. <laughs> Oh, paper thin armor, flash fire, ow, 
and some torpedoes to finish you off. Oh. <laughs> hey Ken, how's it going? No, the 5 inch gun is not playing around. <laughs> Just wrecked the light cruiser, which is quite impressive actually. Still very slowly hunting. I don't know what the slot are doing back here. Alright, there goes their destroyer. They're just going to try and kill these battleships because you know, I want to. <laughs> Although still, still with the five-inch guns. <laughs> it's like he's avoiding those effectively. They have sonar. Yeah, they do. Duh. Start cooking dinner. What are you making? Start at two o'clock. Tasty stuff. By the way, um, stealth noticed this bug. Um, the AI, when it runs out of ammunition, like what I would do is I would go, I'll save. Um, but it's gone save on all of its guns, so the secondaries aren't firing, even though they've got plenty of ammunition. Although, mind you, this seven inch gun is low, so. Yeah, it's reduced, um, it's reduced it down to save, so it's not firing back. Ooh, slow cooked chili. Mm. That does sound good. Yeah, he is aimed at the tire. Gonna fire it. Oh yeah, it's sharp angle, that's why. Right. Oh, they get... Must have... Destroy away over there for some reason. Don't know anything about this game. So, basically, naval warfare from pre World War One to start of World War Two, um, and yeah, it's it's pretty fun. You get to build your own ships. Uh, and then fight them. This is my main game, so most of the stuff on um, I do on YouTube is uh, is based on this. Tell you what, William Porter, you, my friend, you have a job. Your job is to kill the Tayo. Smoke. As more and more destroyers die, and my computer starts speeding up. No, oh. So you get this close, it started firing again. That's the problem. Come on, Bori. Fire those torps. Come on, fire them. Get the angle. Get them over the side. There we go. Torpedoes away. Yeah, but this is an incredibly stupid battle. Um, fun, though. There goes the Bari. Oh, get a hit right on our rudder. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now yeah, we're in business. Uh, unfortunately, Lamboon doesn't have any torpedoes. Uh, Charles P. Cecil does. The case does. Um. Oh, jeez. The McCall does not. Nor does the Parrot. Oh, that was more torpedo hits on the uh, tyre there. I think I think if we can kill the tyre, I'm going to call it a day. Because this, this fun though this is, this is very silly, and we'll move on to, to another scenario, I think. Um... 17 torpedo hits this whole time, but four ammo detonations. <laughs> uh, three of which were caused by the five inch guns. That's just hilarious. Oh my word. Total damage <laughs> 
25,000 with torpedoes. 14,000 with 5 inch guns. Excellent. Oh, just beautiful. Another torpedo hit. And down she goes. I don't call that, well, not a victory, but at the end of the silly this because everything is way too spread out. Um, so if you're watching on YouTube, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. And if you're on Twitch, we will carry on to the next scenario.